Hi knitters, welcome back to Rina Knits. In today's video, we're gonna be making hats. It's winter, it's cold, we need lots of hats. So we're gonna learn how to make hats using a straight needle. And this one, it's gonna be like a beanie. So it'll be slightly different than a regular hat, but still fun to create. To make a slouchy beanie, what we're gonna do is uh, take yarn of weight four, so any color yarn of weight four, but we're gonna also use two needles sizes. So we're gonna use straight needles. One is gonna be a 5.5 millimeter needle set. The other is going to be a 6.5 needle set. So we're gonna have two different needles. The 5.5 we're gonna use to create the border in the beginning. And after that, we're gonna switch over to the 6.5 millimeter. We're also gonna use place markers. So we're gonna have place markers so that way we don't lose our spot. So these are the materials that you will need. And uh, at the end, because we're using straight needles, we have to put it all together. So we're gonna be using a yarn needle to stitch it all together. So let's get started by casting on the number of stitches. So what we're gonna do is create a hat for an average woman. So it's gonna be circumference of 20 inches and the number of stitches that we're gonna cast on are 78. So cast on 78 stitches. To cast on, I usually just do the simple method. And then kind of do it the knit way. Once you have cast once you have cast on 78 stitches, what you're now going to do is do a rib pattern for 22 rows. So the rib pattern is going to be three knits, three purls, three knits, three purls, both sides. So for 22 rows, you're going to do that. That's going to be your border for your hat. So we're going to do three knits. and three pearls and you'll continue this till the end of the row and then begin again for the next row till you have 22 rows completed. Once you have knit 22 rows of the rib pattern, the three uh, knits and three pearls, you have completed the border so what you're now going to do is start working on the body of the hat to make it simple what we're going to do is just keep it a stockinette pattern so basically what you're going to do is uh, one side is all knit the back side would be all pearl so knit pearl knit pearl and you would continue doing this until your hat measures nine inches so right now, so that's including the border. So it will measure nine inches, including the border. So you will knit the stockinette pattern for about six inches. You could basically move on to your 6.5 millimeter needles for the body of the hat by just using the other needle and knitting all the way through the first row and then you could just switch the needle switch the other needle as well and now we are going to basically do the stockinette pattern till your hat measures 
9 inches. Now it will measure 9 inches for a child, 10 inches for a female, and 10 and a half inches for a male. So depending on the number of stitches you've cast on, it will be either 9, 10, or 10 and a half inches. Once you have knit your stockinette pattern and your hat from the beginning till the end measures 9 inches, what we're now going to do is start working on the crown. So we're going to start decreasing our stitches so that we could finish off and close off our hat. Now, we, uh, to make the crown, what we're going to do is knit 37 stitches. So in row 1, we're going to knit 37 stitches and then do K2 together. So I've done I've knit 37 stitches. Now I'm gonna do K2 together. So basically knit two stitches together. And then again I'm gonna knit 37 and knit two stitches together. So now I'm going to knit two together and then just let my last stitch and we're done. For row two, we're going to just purl the whole row and then row three, we're going to start decreasing again. For the third row, our decrease is going to be a lot more. So what we're going to do is knit two, knit two together, knit two, knit two together, and all the way across the row. So we're going to knit two, and knit two together. We're going to knit two, and knit two together and we're going to continue this till the end of the row and last two knit two together now for row four we're going to do is knit the complete row so all even rows are um, the back side or the wrong side and we're going to just purl the wool row so we're going to just purl the complete row and then when we get to row 5 we're going to do another decrease. So now if you started with 78 stitches at the current moment you should have 57 stitches. So now we're at row 5 and for row 5 we're going to do is K1, K2 together, K1, K2 together. Another drastic decrease of the, of the stitches. So we are going to do is start with K1 and K2 together. So K1, K2 together. K1, and you're going to do this till the end of the row. And then row 6, you're going to do a complete purl. So by the end of this row, you should have 30 you should have 38 stitches. So row 6 was all purl. So now for row 7, we're going to do another big decrease and we're going to just do K2 together all the way through. And by the end of this row, you should have 19 stitches. So row 7 would be K2 together all the way across and then row 8 would be purl. So every two stitches is K2. And 
repeat this till the end of the row. So the last two rows before finishing this hat, we're going to do another K2 together all the way across this row. So this is row 9 and then row 10 we're going to just do pearls. So for row 9 we're going to do K2 together all the way across. By the end of this row, you should have 10 stitches if you started with 78. And row 10 would be all pearl. Once you finish row 10, what we're now going to do is stitch the hat together. So I would cut about 3 to 4 inches of extra yarn, enough to sew the hat together and close it off. You would then take a sewing needle. Take your stitches through the sewing needle Tighten it up Now Take your hat Fold it with the wrong side on top So that way when you're sewing it down to the beginning, it's on the wrong side. And I would recommend sewing between every row. This way, there is no holes. And keeping it tight. So Keeps it simple. So just sew, just sew between every row. And you will keep doing this till you come to the very beginning. Once you have sewn everything together and come to the be uh, to the beginning portion, just lock it in place and uh, loop it a few more times so that it doesn't come out. And by clean uh, just clean it up. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit here. and a bit here and I'm gonna flip this over and this is my slouchy beanie hat now you could finish this off by putting the pom-pom up here that you'll find in the next lecture or by putting a button or something in here or leaving it like this it's your choice but this is your hat. If you like this video, don't forget to click that like button. And if you're new, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get the latest videos on knitting projects, knitting ideas, knitting patterns, and much more.